Hi friends! The story of Windows evolution started in 1975, when Bill Gates and Paul Allen form a partnership called Microsoft. A year later, in 1976, Microsoft gets officially registered as a business organization. On November 10, 1983, Microsoft Windows entered into the market with early versions of Microsoft DOS. The first version of Windows, Microsoft Windows 1.0, is introduced on November 20, 1985, and Windows users are introduced to a set of desktop applications, including the MS-DOS file management program, a calendar, card file, notepad, calculator, clock, and telecommunications programs to help them manage their day-to-day -day activities. The control panel made its first appearance with the release of Windows 2.0 on December 9, 1987. With improved graphic support, users could now overlap windows, control screen layout, and use keyboard combinations to move rapidly through Windows operations. Windows 3.0 with improved performance, advanced graphics with 16 colors, and full support of the more powerful Intel 386 processor was released on May 22, 1990. Windows is now widely being used at work and home, and includes games like Solitaire, Hearts, and Minesweeper. Microsoft changes the names of OS2 to Windows NT, new technology, following its decision to not develop operating systems cooperatively with IBM, and introduced Windows NT 3.1 on July 27, 1993. Windows NT 3.1 broke new ground in security, operating system power, performance, desktop scalability, and reliability. Microsoft Windows for Work Groups 3.11 was released on February 1994. On August 24, 1995, Microsoft releases Windows 95. This was also the time when the first version of Microsoft's proprietary browser, Internet Explorer 1, was rolled out in August 1995 to catch up to the Internet wave. Windows 95 features the first appearance of the Start menu, Taskbar, and the Minimize, Maximize, and Close buttons on each window. In 1996, Microsoft introduced Windows NT Workstation 4.0 that included the popular Windows 95 user interface, yet provided improved networking support for easier and more secure access to the Internet and corporate intranets. Windows 98, described as an operating system that works better, plays better, released on June 1998. It was the first version of Windows operating system designed specifically for consumers. Windows 98 came with the ability to open and close applications more quickly, support for reading DVD discs, and support for universal serial bus or USB devices. Another first appearance in Windows 98 was the Quick Launch Bar, which lets users to run programs without having to browse the Start menu or look for them on the desktop. In October of 1998, Microsoft announced that the future releases of Windows NT would no longer have the initials of NT, and that the next edition would be Windows 2000. The second edition of Windows 98, Windows 98 SE, was released on May 5, 1999. It offered consumers a variety of new and enhanced hardware compatibility and internet-related features. The release of Windows 2000 Professional in February 2000 added major improvements in reliability, ease of use, internet compatibility, and support for mobile computing. On June 19, 2000, the release of Windows Millennium Edition, Windows ME, offered consumers numerous music, video, and home networking enhancements and reliability improvements. Windows ME introduced System Restore, Movie Maker, and Windows Media Player. On October 25, 2001, Windows XP is released, with a redesigned look and feel that centered on usability and a unified help and support services center. Available in 25 languages, it became the most celebrated and popular version of the Windows operating system. Windows XP came in two versions, Windows XP Home for the home users and Windows XP Professional for the business market. Windows XP included support for remote desktop services, file system encryption, 
Support for wireless devices and networks and remote assistance. Windows Vista is released in 2006 with the strongest security system. User account control helps prevent potentially harmful software from making changes to the user's computer. Windows Vista also features enhancements to Windows Media Player, allowing users to watch television, view and send photographs, and edit videos. The redesigned Start button makes its first appearance in Windows Vista. On October 22, 2009, Microsoft introduced Windows 7, which was designed on the Vista architecture, but without flaws that made Windows Vista a failure. Windows 7 introduced support for Bluetooth technology, the ability to create or join a home group, which allows users to easily and securely connect multiple Windows 7 computers and share resources. Windows 7 includes new ways to work with Windows, like Snap, Peek, and Shake, that improved functionality and made the interface more fun to use. It also marked the debut of Windows Touch, which let touchscreen users browse the web, flip through photos, and open files and folders. With the release of Windows 8 on October 26, 2012, Microsoft introduced Bill Gates' vision of the future, that is computing with touch and voice replacing the mouse and keyboard. Windows 8 also replaced the more traditional look of Windows with a new modern interface that consists of tiles. Built on the same architecture as Windows 7, Windows 8 provides the same support for 32-bit and 64-bit systems. It offers the ability to sync data between devices through a cloud service and works seamlessly with Microsoft's SkyDrive service. According to Microsoft, Windows 8 uses a reduced memory footprint, freeing up more memory for other things, and boots faster than any previous Windows operating system. The release of Windows 8.1 in 2013 expands the Windows 8 vision of providing a powerful collection of apps and cloud connectivity on great devices. Windows 8.1 combines Microsoft's vision of innovation with customer feedback on Windows 8 to provide many improvements and new features. Improved start screen, additional snap views, additional bundled apps, tighter OneDrive, formerly SkyDrive integration, Internet Explorer 11, a Bing-powered unified search system, restoration of a visible start button on the taskbar, and the ability to restore the previous behavior of opening the user's desktop on login instead of the start screen. On September 30th, 2014, Microsoft unveiled Windows 10. Currently in public beta testing, it is scheduled to be released in 2015. Windows 10 aims to improve the user experience for non-touchscreen devices, including a new revision of the desktop start menu, a virtual desktop system, task view, and the ability to run Windows Store apps within Windows on the desktop as well as in full screen mode. So this is how the Windows operating system made evolutionary leaps and bounds since the launch of Windows 1.0 in 1985. Thanks for watching. Check out our iYogi channel for self-help videos on Windows, Mac, smartphones, security, social media, and much more. Have something to ask or share? Pen it down in the comments. To get iYogi tech support, dial toll-free numbers. To stay empowered technically, subscribe to our channel.